Welcome to Alive and Thriving. My name is Jessica. I am your host and I am so honored to be in your ears today. Welcome to the show. So today I'm going to talk to you about labels and identity and the fact that you are at choice all throughout every second of your day and that includes whether or not you choose to continue to identify with labels that you may have picked up over time throughout your life. Now if any of this resonates with you, if you notice beliefs that are keeping you stuck, if you notice that you have identified these with these labels, but you really want that support and that assistance to move through and create the identity of a successful entrepreneur, then you are so invited to come into my Embodied Entrepreneur Program. I will link it below. You can come in and start working through at your own pace. You get four months of live support through a monthly integration call, through the Slack channel, but you get to work through these four phases at your own pace so you can continue to grow and heal and integrate beyond that four months of live support if you want to. So if you would like to come into Embodied Entrepreneur, simply click the link below. If you would like to know more or have a conversation about whether or not maybe my private healing container is the right space for you, or maybe it's the more self-paced Embodied Entrepreneur, or maybe you are ready to really expand internally and externally co-creating with your business and really embody the strategies of personal evolution, energy management, and strengths-led business strategy. In which case, let's have a chat about whether the Transcendence Mastermind might be the right fit for you. I have created really intentionally crafted these beautiful containers that will meet you where you are at but really help to support you so holistically not only in your personal growth and in your personal healing but also in your business and I love that these spaces can really work with you as the woman behind your business but they can also work with your business as a whole so if you would like to know more the mastermind spaces are limited and so are my private coaching sessions my private alternative therapy sessions and as we speak as of today I have two availabilities that have just opened up privately so if this sounds like something then maybe you've been putting on the fence Am I ready? Should I start looking more internally? Maybe all of the things that you've been doing externally aren't working or maybe you know that there are things that you have been suppressing and hiding away from, but you also know that they are hindering your growth. They are impacting your happiness. They are impacting your quality of life and they're also therefore showing up in your business and if you are ready I work with women who are ready if you are ready and then I want you to reach out to me and again we'll pop a link we can have a 20 minute phone chat and see what container might be right for you and move you forward from there you don't need to stay stuck staying stuck is a choice it really truly is So let's dive a little bit more into our identity and our labels and the choices that we have moving forward. You're listening to Alive and Thriving with Jessica Reed, the podcast that's all about empowering you to achieve optimal wellness and success through self-care, holistic practices and raw conversations. Jessica and her expert guests are here to share powerful insights and strategies to help you overcome stress and anxiety, take charge of your life and thrive in life and in business. Grab a cuppa and let's dive in. So I'm going to keep today's episode relatively short and sweet, but hopefully it still packs a punch for you. The first thing that I really want to chat to you about, and I would love for you to reflect upon is the labels that you have either self-identified with 
or you have been given throughout your lifetime. So what might these labels look like? Maybe things, they start with things like daughter, sister, cousin, student, dancer, gymnast, soccer player, basketballer. Maybe then we move from student into employee, into business owner, into entrepreneur, if that's where you're identifying with in your business. If you have created a business, by the way, you are an entrepreneur. But I know some people prefer to identify with business owner. And so as you look at these labels that you've been given or these labels that you have seamlessly identified with, because, and I say seamlessly because a lot of the ladies that I work with really do actually struggle to identify as a successful entrepreneur. And I point this out because as you move through these different times and phases in your life, you will have seamlessly transitioned into different labels and maybe some weren't quite so seamless, but from sister to mother to student to employee, to what labels have you identified with? And I want you to really get clear on that for yourself because as you start to explore these labels that you have previously given yourself or you have previously somebody else maybe has given them to you, as you start to explore these, you're going to start to reflect upon behaviors and beliefs and conditioning that has come with these labels. And then you get to actually look at how are they showing up for me now? And do I still choose to identify with these labels? I used to say I was always a dancer. That was a label that I had given myself. I was a property manager. I was this. I was this. There is these labels. And for someone who was something, what actions and what beliefs are you bringing from that into your world now and do they still serve a purpose because as I move through this process and I had this conversation with one of my private mentees yesterday where she was talking about labels and identities and I really prefer to look at these roles that we've played in our lives as different archetypes I prefer to look at, okay, who is the woman? And again, they are all a part of you and you learn how to show up authentically. But who is the woman that shows up? I show up differently as mom than what I do as mentor than what I do in a purely alternative therapy setting. I show up differently in these settings because there is a part of me, a different part of me that needs to come forward to meet that area of my life where it is at you're going to show up differently a different archetype might show up for sexy date night and then the archetype who's going to show up as mom or school teacher or therapist or coach or whatever it is that you are showing up as and I don't think we really give enough time to actually getting clear with ourselves on who these archetypes are because we really get wrapped up in the identity of oh if i'm a, if i'm if i'm a professional corporate leader how can i also have this identity as an alternative healer you can because you get to be multiple parts and you get to have different archetypes so that was the first thing that i wanted to really talk about and i'll just quickly say i'll share with you something that i love to do is get really clear on who this version of me is and again recognizing that it is all one part but we get to show up with different parts of us as needed and some of you if you're watching a recording you can see I step into an office within my home and as I step into that office I have an archetype that I step into not a different person not somebody that I am not already but the right version of me who is going to show up to mentor, to inspire, to role model, to lead. That version of me might be different to the one who was just washing the dishes. 
And so as I step in through my door, I actually have this energetic process, this ritual that may really help you, particularly if you are bouncing between roles and you are finding that the identity or who you needed, thought you needed to identify as or with in each role is really different. This might really help you. So I like to get really clear on how my energy is. Maybe I get really clear on how I dress, which I'm having a giggle about because I'm in my active wear. <laughs> but I feel good and I feel comfortable and I'm having a creative wave, which again, which is something I can talk about in another episode. I used to tell myself that I had to dress like a certain way and I I do dress for work, absolutely, and I do not see clients in active wear. I dress for how I want to feel. Today, I wanted to feel creative and being that for me meant feeling comfortable. So I stayed in my active wear. I have had my CEO day today. Wednesdays for me, I turn up to my coaching calls. I turn up to work on my business and I'm recording this too today. <laughs> what I do as I step into the room is I step out of the archetype who was maybe just being mom or being the dishwasher or putting the washing on or finishing a workout. I step out of that personal version of me and into a different one. And as I step into it, I actually see and I feel and I sense because I have gotten myself so clear on who is showing up in my business. And then I want to be really clear too, because I talk a lot about the future self. I want to be really clear that in my day-to-day personal decisions, I also show up as that version of me because my future self is making different decisions about her food and about her body movement and about the way that she thinks and the way that she speaks and the way that she interacts with people in her business and outside of her business. That identity and that embodiment of that future me is a big holistic picture. But as I step into this office and I step into this archetype of this is who I am as I come in and I show up in my business, then that allows me to also be, this is not my whole identity. This is something that I am good at, that I love, that I am finding purpose and passion in. This is something that is very impact driven and I know that what I am doing is making a difference. But alternative therapist, mentor is not who I am, which is why I really want you to look at the labels that you have given yourself. And then now let's take it a step deeper. Don't just look at the labels of the roles that you've played and and the roles that you've played within your life as well as your professional life. But now I want you to look at the labels that you have taken on in an identity space of personality. I'm the shy one. I'm the loud one. I'm always the big one. I am what? What labels have you given yourself? I'm the anxious person. What labels have you actually given yourself? And I really want you to sit with that. Stop, pause, reflect, journal and sit with what labels because they are just that and I want you to imagine them, use your imagination to imagine them to be like a sticky label that you've popped on your kid's water bottle and now you get to peel it off if it no longer serves you. And that might feel hard and it might feel icky because you might have had some of these labels like for example, oh, This is Jess and she's my shy and anxious child. Not that I think mum did that to me, but that was just an example. You might have had these labels your whole life. Go back to the episode where we're talking about branding, but we're also talking about unbecoming with Jen. And Jen spoke about always being too big, too loud. They are labels. And we then have a choice. Once we bring these into our awareness, maybe you're always the lazy one, the one who doesn't finish things. What are the labels that you've given yourself or that other people have given you that you have adopted as being true for you? And as you identify these labels, I want you to really sit with how are 
these impacting my life now? If I believe I am the anxious person or I am an anxious person, how is that showing up in my life and my business if I have this label attached to me? If I'm labeled as the shy one, am I allowing myself to be visible? If I'm labeling myself as always being scared, then am I allowing myself to break through the fear of taking myself to the next level in my business, whatever that is that you need to do? These labels that we either give ourselves or we are given that we allow to stick because we don't know any better, not normally at the young ages that we receive these labels, they don't have to stay with you. And so now if you are listening to this today, you get a choice. You get a choice as to whether of being too loud, that label of being too much, that label of being too shy, that label of being the one who doesn't finish things, the label of doing being whatever it is, like your labels, you know what they are. And if you don't, then just sit, take some time and sit with it because it'll come. Ask yourself, what do I constantly find myself saying? Oh, I'm just anxious. Or do I find myself constantly saying, oh, that's just me. I just don't, I don't do this. I've always done this. What labels have you taken as your truth? Do they still feel like a fit? And if they're not, guess what? You get to change it. You don't have to keep these labels just because you've always had them. Just because they feel like they are so stuck to you. Oh, I guess not like the quality of any water bottle stickers we get for our kids anymore. <laughs> I just say that because there was this one, I remember when Kalia was little, we just could put it through the dishwasher and it literally lasted her whole daycare four years or something. And now we get these labels and they just peel off all the time. So it's stuck to you. If it's stuck to you like a really good quality label, it doesn't mean you have to keep it. It's not tattooed into your DNA. It does not define who you are. So you now get a choice. And I know there's this skeptical part of your brain that's coming in saying, Jess, this is hard. No, I've always been like this. I know you say I can feel differently and think differently, but I can't, but you can because that is a story that you have based on your past experiences and your beliefs and your perception. And so if you want to, even if you don't know how, you can. You truly can. So do you want these labels to stay with you anymore? And if you don't, then let's start the deeper work to change them. You can start by challenging them. You can start by interrupting them with tapping. Even though I've always been the shy one, I choose to release this. Tap about the times where you have identified as feeling shy. Tap about the sensations that it feels like in your body. Come and work with me privately because we can dive deep into this and work directly with your subconscious. Come into Embodied Entrepreneur because this is the work that we do in that space. This is that personal foundations of how do I embody the future version of me? How do I embody that successful entrepreneur? Because you've already defined what success means to you if you're in that program. And we do this work and we do it through exploring and journaling and hypnosis. And it is powerful so your steps now are to go and have a look at what labels you have been identifying with, what behaviors, what beliefs you have taken from the roles you've played and the labels that have come with that. But then what internal labels are you holding as your truth? And then I want you to remind yourself that you are at choice. Does this label continue to suit you or meet your needs or serve a purpose in your life? And my guess is probably going to be that it doesn't. And so now you get to choose to think differently. You get to choose to have a different experience. You get to choose a label that you can rip off and put a new one on. And what does your new label say? 
Maybe, hi, I'm Jess, I used to be the shy one, but now, hi, I'm Jess, and I am embodied, and I am empowered, and I am in my authority. You get to choose your labels. You are always at choice. With every decision that you make throughout your day, you are at choice. With every single thought that you have, I know they run on autopilot. I know that 95% of them are repeated from the day before. I know this, but that's why we get to choose to interrupt them. We get to choose to think differently. And is it easy? Mm -mm, Not really. But if you want it enough, then you will make it happen. So if you would like to chat through some strategies, then reach out. But what I would love to do is hear from you now over on Instagram at jessica.re.ilc. What was your takeaway from today? Come and share with me the labels that maybe you've been holding on to as truth, as something that is really ingrained in you. And which of those labels are not serving you anymore? Come and tell me. I would love to hear. And then we can chat through what your next step is, how you start to interrupt those labels and embody. Actually, I can tell you, your next step, if you have not already done so, is going to be getting really clear on what this future version of yourself looks like so that you can start to ask yourself and how she feels and how she thinks and what she's doing and what behaviors and what habits. And you can start to ask yourself what labels, what behaviors, what habits does this version of me have and how can I start to make those choices in the here and now? And every time you interrupt your automatic patterns, every single time you interrupt and replace it with something new, you're strengthening a new pathway. And there are phenomenal techniques to support that, as I mentioned. And there are programs that I have to support that, as I mentioned. But you can also do this. You can do this. You can go and come and ask me for my fill in the blank AFT script. And you can tap away at home on your own. And you can interrupt your thought patterns, you can interrupt your behaviors, you can consciously be present in your day and consciously make different choices. And I promise that once you bring these things from your subconscious auto programming into your conscious awareness, then you continue to interrupt them, you continue to reprogram, they will become, the new ones will become your new unconscious. It's going to take a bit of work first to get there. So remember, you are at choice. You are at choice of how you speak about yourself, the decisions that you make, the actions that you take. You are at choice of the thoughts that you predominantly have. You are at choice with what labels and how you identify, what you identify yourself as and with and what labels you carry around with you. You have a choice. You are always at choice. So I can't wait to hear from you over on Instagram and I will catch you guys next week. Remember to leave a review. It really does help my podcast get found by people who will benefit, people just like you. So leave a review and a rating. I think that's how it works. (laughs) I don't know exactly how it works, but it would mean so, so much. If you could like and subscribe. Now I feel like I'm on YouTube subscribe guys it would mean so much if you could subscribe to this podcast and leave a review and have the most amazing week wow what a journey it's been today we are so grateful for each and every one of you who tuned in to alive and thriving if you enjoyed this episode and want to help us keep growing please consider subscribing and leaving a review on your favorite platform it's a simple but powerful way to support a small business like ours to continue to make an impact